on safe to train of course it is the new year and of course uh, you need information to set the tone for the year okay you need to be safe of course uh, we know that only the living can celebrate up next is safe to train with fire williams hello 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 lagos and happy happy new year this is the first episode of safety train in 2023 i remain yours sincerely fire williams the safety amazon and it is such a big pleasure to be back with you on the safety train ready to start the year with a bang and we will be looking at reflections of 2022 call for deliberate safety practices and i have with me none other than a brother in safety the consultant safety and hsc consultant with coda safety consult a health and safety solution provider his name is waliu adegoke hello waliu hello man good afternoon how are you doing today i'm doing great now you need to greet my listeners and we like you to start with your own lingua franca you have to rep your people so that they will <laughs> hear you wherever they are wherever you come from they will not say ah that person is my person over there <laughs> so go right ahead okay omo yoruba le mi o so e ka so ni le o ni le loko oruko temi ni waliu adegoke se dada labayin she dada le wa she e make sure won pe i want so you remember ah, you have done a mulu mala you know the man has done the pp yes lagos the 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 lingua franca but we forgive him we can forgive him for today so we are going to go straight into the topic of the day um well you what were the major challenges in safety in lagos and nigeria at large in the year 2022 Let's do a flashback. Mm. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of challenges actually and um when you look at the issue of safety it's uh, it's still at the early stage in this part of the world. Mm-hmm. And part of the major challenges we have is uh deliberate negligence. When we talk about negligence we're talking about on the side of individuals. We are starting from the individuals now. There's this negligence of uh that is attached to uh number one is attached to, to spirituality. You know, we believe that uh what whatever we happen we want to happen when you tell people to take safety control safety measures they will tell you are, are you planning for something bad to happen do you want something bad to happen meanwhile god has given us the ability to think and to reason and to make sure that we deliberately make sure we are safe so negligence is one of those challenges that we have in uh in in Nigeria at large another one is a low level of enforcement monitoring what do i mean yes we have enforcement agents everywhere but monitoring those enforcement agency to make sure that what they are being told to enforce is actually what they are enforcing in the right to an act is has been designed it's also one of those challenges we are having then absence of active structure to address safety issues nationally you know for example in lagos state we have a lagos state safety commission yeah we are, are we, and they are doing a very good job mm-hmm. yeah and at national level i believe that safety as a ministry is should safety should to be separate mm-hmm. yeah, and as a ministry to be to attend to safety issues mm-hmm. just same so way we have you, the federal ministry of labor uh, yeah. and employment you don't think um it's okay just to have maybe factory department or something are you recommending that um there should be ministry of safety in each state yeah definitely yes capital letter yes i i believe that that will uh, make it easier for us to address safety issues directly yes ministry of labor and employment are doing their best but it's not enough Yeah we have the department of health and safety uh, under ministry of labor and employment but that is not enough we need to have safety issues is becoming it's it, on, on, i don't i don't know how to put it it's it increases uh, as as the day goes on we have serious safety issues that are not been addressed and they keep repeating themselves that is when you know that there has there are, we need to really address these safety issues then the last one that i think is also a challenge is the fact that we have low data to analyze uh, trends and pattern of accident when we have accident happening when we have on safe practices when we have people getting involved in one mm-hmm. or one issue or the other based on safety there's no data to put together to know which one is we, we you know when you have data it mm-hmm. should be easier for you to analyze 
this is where the level of occurrence level of occurrence this is where this is coming from is it increasing thank you very much decreasing yeah these are areas Mm -hmm. we need to focus on and spend much of our energy on but there's no data and Mm -hmm. i believe that if you have a separate ministry at national level just that we have it in the city commission Mm -hmm. it will the 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 focus will be mainly on safety and that will address a lot of safety issues so this photo i've analyzed uh is Mm -hmm. just a little of those uh, Uh, major challenges challenges that we have Beautiful. Thank you very much, Waliu. Now, Waliu, you see, we, we, we keep on talking about road safety, you know, um, as if that's really the only mode of transportation. Hmm. But Lagos Traffic Radio prides itself in looking at the road, the rail, the waterways, even air, you know, traveling by air, safety. So we've had issues with rail safety. Yeah. In the course of 2022, you know, um, quite recently, very unfortunately, we had the lady who was trying to drive over uh, a rail and somehow her car got stuck. And I'm just looking at this against the backdrop of the um, flagging off, you know, done in Lagos State of one of the, um, uh, is blue it the blue rail. line? Blue line yes, the blue line, The you know. And um, I, I want you to advise Legosians, because I think the rails we have now, you know, which have this electromagnetic uh, force around it, is quite different from the kind of rail that you can be selling Okrika markets mm. or selling crayfish on. So I, I want you to bring up, you know, what happened in 2022 with regards to rails, you know, and rail travel and the railways, you know, and give nigerians and lagosians a hint of what to do or what not to do in and around the railways going into 2023 uh yes uh we are we are still in africa generally mm. not, not only africa actually even in some uh, developed part of other worlds there mm. are issues where you see people around trains they, mm-hmm. they're still poor when you want to know a country that is developing mm. is when their trains are passing that's when you know that this mm. country is still developing because mm. normally there should not be anything that is attached to trains in terms mm. of human so when it comes to issue of train i advise people number one you're not to be sending anything around trains mm. around uh, this real world but you have them in some of our popular markets we hear Oshodi, we hear Ikeja, we hear you know that you have cotton and uh, materials <laughs> and all kinds of things on right there on the rail track i think in in, th- in that regard when it comes to the hazard i shared it with it you know we have like of controls and mm. i believe that uh the implementation of engineering controls can hmm. work when we have like gas barriers and also when you administer other controls to ensure that people don't pass through that rail especially hmm. when it is time for those trains to move, to move. yeah it, it's it's very sad it's in some areas where there's always high traffic mm-hmm. and that traffic is along the, the rail, the rail. Yes. It, it happens so i think there should be that's where the issue of um deliberate monitoring comes into play mm-hmm. where they know that this time so this time is when this train will be coming and there should be a tolerance uh tolerance T- period, rate, period tolerance so to period say to, to, mm. so to say that okay maybe this train by six it should be here mm. by 5 30 there should be no like a blockage a, a no, block, more a, bo- movement. no more movement so that there's no then. case of go slow shelle yeah. on top yeah. of the rail track and all that you know so uh, and i think that with time i think we are improving in terms of uh, mm-hmm. technological development mm-hmm. uh, even with, with the introduction of the blu-ray i believe that the blu-ray mm-hmm. we have extra controls I uh, i'm very sure so. that the, the, the blu-ray the the, the 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 rail will not be the same as the, as one that we the ones that we had before possible because it's, mm-hmm. it's electrically powered and mm-hmm. and the power is is uh, of high voltage, voltage. Yeah, which can not only is it beyond can killing stun you, stun you <laughs> immediate death so oh. we believe that there should be immediate control it's not something that should be easily accessible no i have not one-on-one seen it but mm-hmm. based on what i've seen from videos mm. i don't think it's the real that should be, should be that will be available accessible, accessible to, is, human, to beings. human beings except you are inside the coach or you want to commit suicide oh no no, no 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 we now, are not going to allow that which is part mm. of what we need to discuss because some people can be very some people can you know people have bent things going people, people can go through a whole lot yeah, going on yeah mental mm. well-being is also part of safety you know when people True. can deliberately go to to uh, third mainland, third mainland to, to so do the acts. it means that there needs to be extra supervision Sean, to ensure that people don't use it as a means to, to want commit to, to commit suicide yeah. thank you very much so while you i'm going to ask you to hold your thoughts as we are going to have a traffic update thank you very much for staying tuned to the safety train so we will go on by asking Waliu Adegoke, our hsc consultant in the house 
some more questions so in the last one year has there been improvement in public safety and its deliberate practice do you see us you know coming out with strongly worded policy statements on public safety have you seen that in the past one year um let me start by asking these rhetorical questions mm. do we have more fires in the last one year mm. do we have more uh home accident in the last one year we have mm. stories of uh kids getting involved in various accidents at home mm. based on poor supervision do we have lesser or more car accident in the last one year mm. yes the government is, is playing a good role like for example there was this memo that was passed by the federal government to mm. to uh to all federal government that is right yeah, to ensure that there is a, a, a safety si- officer yeah, or safety something officer, at least city officer or then at time goes on safety department that you address safety issues it means that the government is seeing insight about about safety but if we look in the 2023 budget i hope there's provisional because <laughs> safety officer is not going to be taking a full full you know the man yeah. is going to be eating gary yeah. and egg by you know Even, so. that is part of the issue because we, we're still going to talk about that because, uh-huh. because when we are talking about safety practice in, mm-hmm. there's all, what we call intrinsic motivation mm. there are things that should motivate people to want mm. to do more this this practice of peanut uh peanut salary is being, mm. being given to to safety safety professionals, it, it needs to be addressed it needs mm-hmm. to be addressed for us to have a, a better safety culture because it takes a lot of things b- b- coming together to become a safety professional people True. don't know about it True. you know it things that uh, at, the, at, the, at the end of the day you will see people saying they want to pay 70 100 150 even 70 100 to safety professionals after years of experience mm-hmm. you know and these are the these, these are the areas that's why you see a lot of people leaving the country practicing safety outside the outside country outside the country yeah because mm. they they, they, yeah, they, they see think more, they are yeah, not well motivated yeah the value is not people it's like they don't see their value and we are actually invaluable because mm. we are yes. trying to, yeah we are trying to Try prevent to prevent loss of life and loss of property yeah, as because, well yeah, yeah exactly so we we, we, we are you help to maintain the um, reputation of the organization and so many things, so we, many are, things. We, are, we, are, we are doing so uh in terms of improvement uh th- there are some improvement but mm. in terms of enforcement monitoring that's where the problem is for example there's this uh extended producer responsibility by mm. nature which was oh, al- yes. also a good step t- telling uh manufacturers that all your waste all your all the, those the cans end, all those can take they, them off pet the bottles and everything so they have responsibility yeah, they right have, they have a responsibility so throughout the life cycle of that product exactly throughout the life cycle mm. yeah they have a responsibility now are they monitoring the enforcement of mm. that of that and even with as individuals also are we helping the situation hmm. used to our individuals how do you manage your waste do they you drop it in the gutter that That's is the problem and at the end of the day they don't know the resultant effect now let me analyze it for us mm-hmm. when you have when you drop that single bottle, bottle. of water mm-hmm. and that person drops that single bottle of water hmm. we all drop that single bottle of water all our pack all those a package all those mm, um, the, yeah, the, the, all, the, all those pe- polyethylene yeah, and polystyrene yeah, so bottles we drop it on, mm-hmm. on in gutter it blocks the drainages mm. and when it blocks the drainages what happens the water, water will flow, flow on the road flow on the, and, and damage the road ah. and I, then we'll I, be I, entering pothole buy new yeah. shock absorber yeah exactly <laughs> oh so, so at the end of the day even in our homes we have over even in lagos or nigeria at large we have issue of you know we have climate issue oh yes which is also climate part of safety everywhere you know, there's flooding mm. everywhere and these are the little things that contribute to it mm. so you as an individual you think that single pet bottle is just one pet bottle mm. it is not mm. because one million persons doing the same thing mm-hmm. is one million pet bottle in, in, our, in the in yeah. the drain so at the end of the day even we, we, are, we are talking about mosquitoes we are talking mm. about all these things mm. by the time you have stagnant water in your gutters at mm. in your street you have mosquitoes you can't people, win at all millions of millions of people thousands of people are dying of malaria mm-hmm. and millions we spend millions on treating malaria at least to treat malaria now mm. at least you have to have five thousand you have you at least at you have least to have five thousand that's right. you start with the test yeah mm-hmm. the, you start with the test so mm. at the end of the day you are spending more for what for not doing a single Same preventive little pre- thing so that let's try to do. manage our waste so mm. it's, it's it's part of those issues at the end of the day those water they go to the road they damage the road the road get mm. back we have accident mm. fortunately unfortunately people around us to get involved in the accident mm. so so sad so so, so it's, 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 it's a long chain of responsibility mm. from the individual 
to, mm-hmm. to the family as a whole, to the mm-hmm. community, to organizations, they have mm-hmm. responsibility, mm-hmm. to the industry, where because mm-hmm. every organization has an industry. Oh, you know? yes. Yeah. There's so, an industrial sector yeah, that you belong the, to, the, yes. So, at industrial level, there's a responsibility. Mm. And at government, government level, you know, mm. we, we, we call it socio socio technical approach to health and security. Ah, system. well, you go give us a dig this <laughs> afternoon. But, but just before you even go into this socio technical aspect of safety, I want to take you up on this issue of negligence and prevention because you were talking now about prevention and i'm just taking a simple incident like fire you know mm-hmm. that we were discussing when you ask the average uh Agbalagba or the average owner of the house uh, ah, you need to have fire extinguisher what kind of answer do you get uh in fact well, what you just asked me actually happened in real life well w- one of my friends now though she has also japa uh-huh. <laughs> everyone is japa now she told me mm-hmm. then that before no normally when she, she, she i make safety videos on mm-hmm. my youtube mm-hmm. so she used she, she was telling her dad one of those is that let's buy fire extinguisher mm-hmm. the dad was like are you praying for show show on dad rock you know she are you praying you for fire to indeed. happen eh? show on dad rock you know she are you why don't you pray for it to so, shell it that you have fire extinguisher unf- unf- unfortunately they mm-hmm. had a fire in their house wow i think the kitchen area from the general i think they're not to the kitchen area so you no know, they are also design issues some people most of mm. most, most people their kitchen is close to their generator, generator. you know wow. these are other issues that we can talk some other time time we, yeah based on design of our own mm. but with this one i'm going to they had an uh, they, they had a fire accident mm-hmm. one the other they were able to estimate, but it I think it caught up the kitchen area and that burnt down. And now, and wow. it's spent, now for getting a fire extinguisher will cost you less than ten thousand mm-hmm. to maintain every month. We maybe ten thousand even era. six months, yeah. No, so six, have the sorry, six, six months, months. Yes, yeah. Six months, sorry, uh, mm-hmm. even a year, but mm-hmm. six months is still good, to, yeah. To, so at the end of the day, they spend more money to repair. Mm-hmm. To yes, it, it, that all, all that was lost, and something happened again. Uh-huh. What again? After the fires, mm-hmm. after those things that happened, the the the, 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 the lady told lady. me that later she went to meet her dad again. That, 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 you see, I was telling you too. that you should buy fire extinguisher. 